Hi, we're in a vernal pool in Ohio today, and it might not look like a very special place, but in fact, it's critical to the larger watershed. You see, a vernal pool is a seasonal type wetland, which fills up with spring rain and snow melt during the springtime, and then by summer's end, it's usually dry as a bone as it is right now. But during that time there's water in it, it hosts a cacophony of sound in many different life forms. In fact, a drop of water a day too late could mean the difference between life and death for many of the creatures in it that call a vernal pool home. But a vernal pool is a wetland, which means it must meet certain characteristics. It must meet uh, hydrology levels, meaning water levels. It must meet certain vegetation. In other words, vegetation that could live in both wet and dry conditions. And it must have hydric soils, which kind of have, the hydric soils kind of smell like rotten eggs, quite frankly. But over the next 20 to 30 minutes, we're going to hear about the functions and benefits of vernal pools. For example, they store carbon. In fact, wetlands in general store carbon. There was one study that revealed that one acre of wetland can store about 5,500 pounds of carbon a year indefinitely until that vernal pool or, or that wetland is disturbed. But we're also going to hear about some of the creatures that only live in vernal pools, such as the wood frog, the spotted salamander, even the little fairy shrimp. And we'll learn how cool they are and how important they are to the wider ecosystem. And you're going to learn how to monitor a vernal pool yourself. That way we can protect these special places and continue enjoying them for generations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this Diamond in the Rough. 